this is any control for a data line. It's a microcomputer term starts for the model AC112. Well, it's a 220 views term start. But I want to convert it so it can be using 12 volts because uh, the electricity situation around here is too bad. So I have a battery and my incubator is 220. Hence, I got this one. So I want to convert it to 12 volts. Since I'm converting my incubator to 12 volts, I will use this. this an inverter box. I was going to construct an inverter box. I saw this one. So it's okay. So I got this one. It's about a 70 watts inverter. So I use it to power this one and some other few fans inside the incubator. It will go up to 40 watts. So it will not blow this one since it will be powering regularly. And I will cut off here. So I can install a 12 volts fan here. Well, this is the inside of the thermostat. This is the relay, a 220 volts relay. This is the transformer. I haven't read it to know if it's uh, transforming the voltage to 12 volts or I don't really know. So, what I want to do now is I want to this um, brown wire. Is the light, whereas this black is the neutral supplying 220 volts to these two terminals, this one and this one. So these two terminals are the ones supplying the 220 volts to this thermostat. So I want to use this relay now, which is 220 volts. I want to use it as 12 volts. So all I have to do here now is to disconnect these 220 volts here from here. If I should disconnect it from here now it will no longer be affecting the uh, contact in this 220 volts relay. So when that happens now, the contact now is free to use any voltage because here now, this wire now runs direct to it, making it 220 volts. So this is the coil of the relay and this coil now is being powered by this 220 volts. So if I disconnect it from here now, this one will still have its 220 volts, which it will get from this uh, inverter. The inverter will be powered by the 12 volts battery and gives this one 220 volts. Whereas this relay coil will be powered by the 220 volts, but its contact now will be separated from this 220 volts. So I can use 12 volts on the contact. That's exactly what I want to do through with the construction this is my monitor lamp so I construct this in case the bulb goes off when it has gone to, go to its peak maybe 100 degrees then the bulb will go off when the bulb goes off this monitor lamp will show so I can still be seeing things happening inside the incubator so this is the contact the contact uh, the, uh, relay, the relay contact this is the two terminal from the relay contact. This is a vehicle and this is a bulb 15 volts. So this uh, thermostat now is being powered by this um, inverter. So it runs from this direct and this uh, to this uh, socket bus. That's why I carried it. So when I socket it now, when I plug it to the 12 volts batteries, Up. So when it comes up now, it's working now. It's working now. It's at uh, 94, 96 degrees, 97 degrees. It's rising very fast because the, the this thing is close to the board, much close to the board. It's at 110. Nice. Why the monitor lamp is on? But when it comes up now, the monitor lamp will go off. It has come up. The monitor light has gone off. So this monitor lamp will be inside where it will be showing you the X. So in case this one goes off, but you still want to be seeing things happening inside the incubator, 
this monitor lamp will be there to show you the things happening inside the incubator immediately this one goes off the monitor lamp is on so the incubator is always lit whether this one is off or not so this the 12 volts are constructed to the 12 volts now so when i go and implement it inside the incubator i will show it in the video in the next video while a 